Hey, what's up everyone? It's Frankie with Frankie for Life, back with another tutorial. I've had a lot of people in the comments ask about how to create the latest Valheim uh, install or the latest Valheim version in their Steam CMD server. So uh, some people have a Steam CMD dedicated Valheim server, and if you update that, you can't get the latest Hildare request version. And I'm going to show you how to be able to do that today. So the first thing you'll do is on your machine you play from, you'll open up your Steam and you'll uh, launch um, the library uh, screen. And then at the top up here you'll notice you have, you have games and software. You're going to choose the tools and it's going to show you all the tools. So now you're going to look for Valheim dedicated server. So you'll click on that and you'll install it. Once it's installed, you'll launch it and let it start up the uh, dedicated server. Now what that's going to give you is the latest 0.217.14 as of the video making of this video. It's going to give you that version and so then that you're going to be able to take and copy that over to your Steam CMD server. And so once you've launched that, then you can close it, and then you're going to open up the folder where that's stored at. Over here, you'll notice I've got mine located under Games, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and you notice here is a Valheim dedicated server. Well, yours is going to be somewhere under wherever your Steam is installed. So it'll be Steam, Steam Apps, Common. And then you'll have a Valheim dedicated server. So you want to click on that and copy that folder to a USB drive, thumb drive, or get it to your dedicated server somehow. So in my case, I'm going to open up my dedicated server. You notice I have uh, this folder opened up that my Steam is installed in. So under Steam, Steam Apps, Common, I've dropped my Valheim dedicated server here. So that's what you're seeing here. Once you've got it there, you'll be able to open that folder and edit your start headless server bat and that's where you'll name your server, put your password, that kind of stuff. And then when you're ready to start it, you'll just double click that and that'll start your Valheim dedicated server. Now, you'll probably want a world uh, created with all of the modifiers for the latest patch. So to do that, you'll go back to your main machine and you'll go to Valheim and in Valheim you'll open that up so you'll go to start and then you'll go to start you'll notice you have the select world screen up this is where you're going to click new I clicked, I made a test tool, so you'll click new, you'll give yourself a, a name, and then you're going to click on world modifiers and make all your changes, and then click done, and that'll apply those to your new world. Then you're going to want to start it just to make sure it works, so you'll click the start server, and uh, cross play if you want to include uh, game stations to be able to play on the server. Then you'll put a password and you'll hit start. Make sure that your world starts and runs over. Okay. When you're done with that, you'll close that out. And then you'll get out of your uh, Valheim program. And you'll go to the folder where your new world is located. Now, yours is going to be located similar to mine. It's going to be under your C users and then whatever your profile name is. And then app data. Under that, you're going to have a local low folder, and then an iron gate folder, and then your Valheim folder. Under that, you'll see a folder called Worlds Local. So open that up. There'll be two files uh, associated with your new world. You'll, whatever you named it, you'll see those. You're going to grab both of those files, and you're going to copy those to your Steam server. So you would copy those and then go over to your Steam server. We'll do that here. And in the same location, you notice here 
I have the same location, users, server, app data, and then I've gone into that local low and iron gate, you know, the same folder, and you'll put those in your worlds folder, your worlds local folder. Now you're ready to play. So you'll go back to your Steam CMD dedicated server into your Valheim dedicated server folder. You'll launch your start headless server and that'll put you to the latest version 0.217.14 as of the time of making this video. So I hope this helped you get started and appreciate you watching uh, the video.